Big money for you to win. The grand prize is $610. Check your pockets. Look at your cash and think KFRC. Anyone can win. Just pay attention, listen closely, and remember, this is the key. One can get you 610. One can get you 610. KFRC. KFRC, the disbarred Dr. Hook at 641 at Dr. Dodd Road. She was only 16. Actually, her New Year's resolution was to make love 365 times. I said, oh, fine. Put me down for two. Oh, Dr. Don. <laughs> oh, and our, our DDR tip this morning to uh, stimulate your love life, hang a magnet over your bed and wear iron pajamas. You better believe it. <laughs> oh, is nothing sacred anymore? New X-rated movie coming out on North Beach today. Donald the Duck discovers he's not a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> 610 weather. It's a little bit like Mark. Marvelous Mark's complexion should begin to clear up later today. Sunshine! And a high today. Oh, oh, there's that X-rated duck. Uh, high today, 65. And a low tonight of 45. This morning, temperatures mild. Sacramento, the cool spot with 49 this morning. Concord, 50. It's 51 in San Raquel. And Oakland, 53 this morning in San Jose. 10 degrees Celsius, 51 in the city right now. You get it better at The Warehouse. Top-selling new albums by Johnny Taylor, Paul McCartney and Wings, Marvin Gaye, and Santana. On sale right now at warehouse stores everywhere. On Columbia Records, Johnny Taylor's bestseller, Eargasm, including the smash disco lady, just three eighty eight for LP, four eighty eight for tape. You think And on Capitol Records, the new release by Paul McCartney and Wings at the Speed of Sound. Now just three eighty eight for LP, four eighty eight for tape. Where? At the Warehouse. Marvin Gaye's new album on Tamla, titled I Want You. Now just three eighty eight for LP, four eighty eight for tape. Also pick up Santana's new bestseller on Columbia, Amigos. Just three eighty eight for LP, four eighty eight for tape. These big hits and more now on sale at the Warehouse, California's largest chain of record and tape stores. Whenever there's a record and tape that you want, there's a Warehouse near you. The warehouse is everywhere. Everybody sells CV units, but Hughes CV Center in San Leandro has a 24-hour repair service and is the warranty station for all brands like SBE, Cobra, Johnson. That's Kooky Hughes, if you pardon the expression. 987 Manor Boulevard, San Leandro. Dr. Don laughing and scratching. 643 in the city this morning. Seventh day of the strike. You, you and the sunshine. morning, seventh day of the craft workers strike, now on, and we'll update here very, very shortly. Yeah, what a night. I have to dedicate that to the last time I was out with John Mac Flanagan. He drank a quart of Canadian club and he never even staggered. <laughs> Stagger, he couldn't even move. <laughs> Crashed into a tree, but it wasn't his fault. He honked his horn. <laughs> This was the greatest gift I could have found because my kids love bubble gum. Sylvia Collado of Hermitage, Tennessee, made quite a hit with her kids when she discovered Trident Sugarless Bubble Gum. They were completely happy with this discovery because uh, they could blow their bubbles and they <laughs> taste like bubble gum. And just as important, Sylvia, four out of five dentists surveyed recommend sugarless gum for their patients who chew gum. The boy said, Mama, you're the best mom in the world because you've given us bubble gum again. And that's honest to goodness. Trident Sugarless Bubble Gum for families who care about their teeth. If if you think you're not afraid of the dark, if you think you have a strong stomach, if you feel nothing can shock you, if you say you don't scare easily, if you believe you've seen everything, then the picture for you is they came from within. They came from within. Rated R. Under 17, not admitted without parents. And starts Wednesday, tomorrow at Warfield Theater, Ceremony 6 at El Rancho Drive-In. And other theaters throughout the Bay Area. It's about this guy who meets his lady at a veterans a veterinarian's office. She was getting her final shot. <laughs> Well, the Golden Gate Superwalk is picking up steam.
Bernstein. I hope you'll join us for the Big March of Dimes Walkathon coming on May 1st. 44 11 900. We'll get you all the information and get you signed up and ready to do something really worthwhile. KFRC. Dr. Don at 6.52, seventh day of the uh, strike of the Craft Workers Union. Oh, yeah. Well, they say it's the supervisors. There's uh, two sides to the coin, possibly. They say it's the supervisors that are causing the strike? Uh, <laughs> to get me <laughs> they in didn't trouble. say that. <laughs> oh, it, I, I had a lump in my throat yesterday. Went out to uh, Fitzpatrick Chevrolet. I tra- traded off the old Buick station wagon. Oh, you got rid of it. Got rid of it. And I had really had kind of a lump in my throat. I thought, well, that car has taken us 64,000 miles. And you kind of grown attached to it. Yeah, I, I, I really did. But uh, it had served its purpose, and the new one smells new and looks good. Bright, shiny chrome. Oh, there's nothing like the love affair a man has for a brand new car, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be tough. For that first scratch will be a tough one. Oh, please. No. Oh, I don't even That's want to the one I it. did do it when I pulled into the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> the city strike, as we say now, on its seventh day, and union leaders here feel the hang-up is at City Hall. This is the biggest farce, charade, that this personality's ever seen. Ever seen, as far as the negotiating process is concerned. Sam Jensen of the Machinist Union rumblings now among the union leaders in the city of the first steps toward a full-blown general strike. This is Paul Frederick, 610 News and Information. At 652, city temperature 51, and the news from the school bus barn is not good. We're uh, having buses pull out of here sporadically. Uh... If the students wait at the stop and the bus doesn't show up on time, then the best of them to return to his home and have the parents take him to school. Bill DeFonzo at the school bus barn, anticipating as many drivers will get through the picket line as did yesterday, but that was not very many. Some of the parents are organizing carpools now to get their kids to class. Coming up, some dark predictions. You ask for it, you got it, Toyota. You ask for it, economy with style. I don't want much, just a good-looking, dependable, low-priced car that'll really last. You ask for it. You got it. The Toyota Corolla two-door sedan. Priced at a down-to-earth $27.89. Based on manufacturer's suggested retail price. Plus tax, license, transportation charges, emission, and optional equipment. The Corolla two-door sedan. The low-priced Toyota that doesn't scrimp on quality. Thanks, Toyota. You betcha. You ask for it. You got it. The greatest disaster of all time. This is why Colgan, two-time Nobel Prize winner Lannis Pauling, is warning that the greatest catastrophe in the history of the world could wipe out civilization in the next 25 or 50 years. Pauling says the end could come from a single or a series of catastrophes, including warfare, pollution, or tampering with the forces of nature. Pauling making those predictions at the opening session of the centennial meeting of the American Chemical Society in New York. Those San Quentin cons on a hunger strike have sent the warden a list of demands, including better medical care, better food, more exercise, Size and improved access to the law library. The 43 death row residents are now in the sixth day of refusing meals. However, they're eating candy, cookies, and crackers they buy at the prison canteen. DA Joe Freitas saying he plans to file felony charges against 11,000 people who voted illegally in the December election. We're going to initiate some right away. Uh, uh, as you know, Fred Wisman has been working on this problem along with an investigator, and we will be filing some cases very shortly, but to get to the great bulk of them, it's going to take a lot of work. Joe Freda is saying the penalty could be five years in the slammer and or $1,000 fine. The California Assembly yesterday approved a legislative package to ban the construction of nuclear power plants until a method is developed to recycle the radioactive waste. KFRC points out a free health screening day for you Saturday at Central High School in Pittsburgh. 610 News Time, 655. Kites.
Three Bay Area companies recalling some 30,000 aluminum-coated kites because their tails could pose a severe shock hazard if they touch power lines. Taxes, 29 different groups opposed to the B-1 bomber are asking people in the Bay Area to write their congressmen and complain about the waste of money on that military project. Change, Barbara Walters confirming she's talking with ABC TV about a possible spot as co-anchor with Harry Reasoner on the night news. Money, now that Howard Hughes has died of a stroke, the big question is what happens to his vast fortune? Hughes has no known widow or children. Union, the California Teachers Association predicting now it will soon win the right to become the exclusive bargaining agent for most public school teachers in the state. 610 Sports, the 49ers took a major step forward yesterday in their rebuilding program with the signing of former Stanford Heisman Trophy winner Jim Plunkett. And Jim says he can't wait to team up with his old buddy Gene Washington. I played with Gene for a year at Stanford and, uh, you know, I'm, shoot, he's uh, seven years better than he was then and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it. To get the former Patriot quarterback, the 49ers had to give up Tom Owen at the quarterback spot, plus four draft choices. The Giants got dumped by the Dodgers 6-3 last night in Arizona. Pitcher John DeAquisto giving up all six runs, so it doesn't look like he'll make the team. The A's, meanwhile, were beating the Padres 7-4 as Billy Williams hit a three-run homer in the ninth inning. San Jose State looking for a new head football coach now. This morning, Daryl Rogers quit yesterday to take over that top spot at Michigan State. Northern California weather coming up. And your neighborhood Union 76 dealer who sells the unleaded regular that can save you money. Union 76 regular presents another episode of Murph. Join us now at Murph's friendly 76 station as Murph is about to help a good customer pinch pennies. Murph, Elmer, and I decided to save money and keep our 71 Ford another year. Sounds like a good idea. I'll fill it up with unleaded Union 76 regular. It can help you save even more money. Oh, how's that? Because it's unleaded, it can help your spark plugs last up to twice as long. That can mean fewer tune-ups. Oh, Elmer will be so pleased. And it can help your muffler and tailpipe last up to 50% longer. Oh, I can't wait to tell them. So you see, Union 76 regular can be worth up to two cents a gallon in decreased maintenance costs. Murph, fill it up with Union 76 regular. That's the spirit. <laughs> Maybe it's time you put a gasoline with spirit on your side. The spirit of 76. Once the rain tapers off, should be a pretty nice day. Look for highs to 65, lows to 45. Right now in Oakland, 51 degrees. Current city temperature, 10 Celsius. That's 51 degrees at KFRC AM and FM San Francisco. Repeating the hour's top story, strike continues, most school buses parked. This is Paul Frederick, 610 News and Information. More news in less than 23 minutes. Now, Dr. Don Rose does it for you. For all of those that are out there this morning, fighting morning traffic, and dismayed by the whole thing, <laughs> try our Yule Log cocktail. It's a little late for it, but two, and you'll sleep like a log all the way in. KFRC 701 in San Francisco. Strike bow this morning. Yeah. But that's the least of our problems, right? Guy rushes into the psychiatrist's office. He's got a flower pot in his head. He's got a carrot stuck out of each ear and a piece of salary hanging out of his nose. He yells, doctor, i got to talk to you. It's about my brother. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore. Yesterday, I got an invitation to an orgy. What? <laughs> At least the invitation said RSBVD. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs>
at 706 and Dr. Don Rose. Lots of those Angie babies yesterday. I drove into the uh, city last night to the uh, Hyatt on Union Square for a, a meeting of the uh, San Francisco uh, Sales and Marketing Executives Association. And I'll tell you, you had your choice of girls. <laughs> no transportation. And, and, of course, they're reduced to just uh, standing and waiting for somebody to give them a ride home, right? <laughs> One says, yoo How far would I have to go to get to San Jose? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, any girl who wears a drip-dry nightgown can't be all bad. <laughs> hey, you know, the Datsun 710 two-door has more headroom than a Chevrolet Chevelle. Or that only five of many standard features on the 710 cost $296 extra on a Ford Granada. Visit your Datsun dealer right now during a special showdown in the showroom. And you'll find that 100 facts like these in a slide rule comparison of Datsun against its competitors. You'll find out Datsun shines in more ways than savings. It's put together, stay together, keep on saving for you. Datsun saves. Hi, I'm Christy. I'm a healthy kid, but there are a lot of kids with birth defects. They can't run and jump and play. But with your help, maybe we can change that. Who can walk with us on Saturday, May 1st? The KFRC Golden Gate Super Walk. Call 4411-900. The Golden Gate Super Walk. This is Don St. John inviting you to join me with a 610 Jocks for the Golden Gate Super Walk from KFRC. KFRC. Love in the springtime. 712 with Dr. Don Rose. Tell you what I mean. For instance, last night I dreamed I was dancing with this beautiful woman. <laughs> I woke up and it was my wife hitting me on the feet with a broom handle. You got a big, da, da, da. big mouth. I'll be all right. <laughs> I've been sick. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I, I went to the doctor the other day and Doc Samuelson gave me an examination. He told me to throw on my chest. I said, I'm not through with it yet. <laughs> He says, there's something wrong with your system. I said, you're crazy. I picked five winners last time I was out at the track. You what? <laughs> oh, never mind. 610 weather. And if you're on the way in today, it should be clearing up. And if you're hitchhiking, just hike up a little bit further and you'll undoubtedly find a way. <laughs> up, up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I offended your sensibilities here with a high of 65 today low tonight 45 this morning temperatures mild sacramento 49 concord 50 oakland and san raquel 51 san jose has 53 it's 10 celsius 51 in the city right now hi how are you it's me tom campbell you've been hearing me talk quite a bit with people coming into the comfort zone what a bit warehouse you've heard what they've had to say but find out for yourself why more and more people are coming to the comfort zone what a bit warehouse 17 the limits at Fremont Boulevard, right next to General Motors. And wait till you see it. A complete comfort zone water bed. Now, this is not a twin or a double. This is a California king. This is not our lowest price bed, by the way. This bed is $128. Just one example. Complete, ready to go. How about that four-poster water bed? King or queen, your choice of size. $188, the full price. But there's more. How about the complete six-piece Barker bedroom suite? You get the dresser, twin mirrors, two nightstands, king or queen-sized headboard, the entire ensemble, just $290. $99 for a six-piece bedroom suite. That's what I mean about the Comfort Zone Waterbed Warehouse. And there's even more. Here's the Pioneer, King or Queen for $199. And what about the Sunrise, a brand new bed for $299? What a collection. Come by and check it out. Matching bedroom furniture, decorator accessories, paintings. You should see it. 17, the limits of Fremont Boulevard. Come by the Comfort Zone. Hey, how about the Barker? <laughs> no, 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 never mind. Uh, this weekend, it's the Santa Rosa Custom Car and Speed Show. Every time Roscoe sees one of those cars, he sees that tire and it turns him on. Oh, God. Featuring a Playboy Playmate, Nancy McBrandy. It got concert. Stone ground. That's his weekend. The custom car show fish. Don Rose, right in the middle of the Kraftworkers 
strike, day number seven. Makes you just want to check into a hotel downtown and stay here <laughs> until the thing is all over. And let your love shine and let your love flow. I remember during our honeymoon, my wife said the way I made love reminded her of a famous food product. <laughs> I said, oh, you mean Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions? She says, no, Minute Rice. <laughs> <laughs> 718, but Dr. Don, maybe I better answer that. It might be the phone. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Don. Hello, who's this? This is Luke Jerstad. Not the same Luke Jerstad that was at the sales and marketing executives convention yesterday. I'm afraid so. <laughs> All right, a professional mountain climber for how many years? Well, at least 18. 18 years. Well, now, you grew up on a farm in Minnesota. How in the world did you ever find a mountain around there? Yeah, well, uh, my parents moved out to the uh, state of Washington when I was only about 13 years old, so I moved to Washington and started climbing out there. Well, you know, Lou, in all, in all seriousness, I I, uh, I was so impressed last night, uh, especially to find out that you're one of just a handful of men that have climbed Mount Everest. Well, there have been quite a few now, actually, because... Uh, since 63 when we went up uh, every year since about 1969 there have been two expeditions a year and Everest is right now booked up all the way through 1980 as a matter of fact have they um, have they lost quite a few climbers the Mount Everest yeah quite a few mostly Sherpas oh. the uh, natives who help us carry high altitude porters what what makes a man climb a mountain? And, and, and please don't say because it's there. <laughs> a lot of answers. <laughs> Running away from his creditors or, uh, uh, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. And Primarily people do it because they enjoy it. It's a different way of life. And and you just came back from uh, India, right? Yeah, about three or four days ago now. Where where you uh, climbed a couple of uh, uh, slopes that had never been climbed before. No, I was actually setting up another expedition for uh, 1977. Uh, we're going to do another unclimbed peak, and we got another one coming up this uh, May, and I was doing the final work on those. Uh, last spring was when we did the uh, the other unclimbed peak that uh, Mike was talking about last night. Is it tough to do it with uh, amateurs? Or do you prefer seasoned uh, climbers? Well, that depends on what you're doing. Uh, I run a business in the outdoors, and we, always, we primarily take amateurs out, but we don't do very much of that high-altitude climbing with people who've never done any climbing before, obviously. Right, I see. Most of the stuff we do in the Himalayas is trekking in Nepal and going up to, oh, you know, 16,000 feet or to Everest Base Camp, but you're still really on trails, and we have porters who carry all the loads, and, and uh, everything is done for you. But once you get onto a mountain and you start the actual climbing, then you, you have to have people who are you know, really pretty fit and pretty tough and have, who've done a fair amount of climbing themselves over the years. Lou, one last question. If um, if there's anyone listening that is interested in mountain climbing or some of your river tours, what do they do? Well, they can contact me uh, through the office in Portland. It's uh, Lou Jerstad Adventures, uh, P.O. Box 19527, Portland, Oregon, 97219. That's all there is. And you know what? There's a man that has seen uh, Mount Everest from the top side. It's got to be a fantastic experience. I'm into the outdoors myself. I remember one time I went bear hunting with a switch. <laughs> Lucky for me, it was attached to a battery and three sticks of dynamite. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, no. God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> well, if you're into natural things, then naturally you want to go to the gift department at Macy's because natural is in these days. Uh, plastics are out, uh, phony things are out, and the things that are in are the earth tones, the natural materials like woods and stone and pottery, and the pet planters from uh, Macy's, the gift department, planters made out of natural wood that look like animals. And if, you, uh, if you've already bought uh, some of their, their, their little plants that are on sale for $4 each, you can pick your own natural wood planter for it. Two and a half to four feet tall, they're really beautiful, and Macy's price at just $37. Plant stands with mirrors, chrome platter pots, and all of these things to give your house the 30s look, or maybe the 70s look with something in chrome. In fact, they've got the chromiest ones you've ever seen. Ah, I'm kidding. <laughs> Macy's gift shops are great for people who like natural, casual living and entertaining. Cookware, they've got all of that. The iron stone dinnerware and earthy tones. A terrific selection of pewter serving pieces and flatware. And some of the flatware pieces have rustic glazed ceramic handles. But anyway, this is the week to stop in. Macy's in the gift department at any of the stores around the Bay Area. <laughs> with Rose and great Firestone values from Larry Barrett Tire, 9th and Howard, San Francisco, in Palo Alto, a 3401 El Camino Real. Larry Barrett for your Firestone needs. 
Well, it's still going on. Craft worker strike. And those crafty uh, guys from Yellow Cab <laughs> showing their true colors this morning. <laughs> Sweet thing. Dr. Don at 725. While we were talking to Luke Jerstad a few minutes ago, who is a, a fantastic mountain climber, and also on this date in 1909, uh, Robert Perry reached the North Pole. Bet you didn't realize that. Uh, no. Yes, I'm on. Uh -huh. I was trying to communicate, but I couldn't oh, get through. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, good uh, old Lou. Uh, and uh, and Robert Perry reached the North Pole on this date in 1909. I've never been to the North Pole, but Duluth, Minnesota was cold enough for me. One time we were ice fishing, and it was so cold the candle froze. We couldn't blow it out. And oh, no! <laughs> it was so cold the words came out of our mouths and pieces of ice. We had to fry them to see what we were talking about. <laughs> That's cold. That's cold. Now on its seventh day, that strike by craft union workers in the city threatening to mushroom into a full-blown general strike. The sentiment here uh, to get towards a complete unity of support for the building trades, for the, for the uh, kind of treatment that's going on is... Is uh, is discussed in the in the form of a general strike, but general strikes have to be handled through the proper procedure. That's Joe Mazzola of the Plumbers Union. This is Paul Frederick, 610 News and Information at 726. City temperature 50. The airport's without heat right now. Pickets there trying to shut the terminal down. Very few school buses expected to make it through the picket lines this morning. The housing department saying it heats off in some of the homes in North Beach. They may have to hand out electric blankets. The yellow cab's still off the street. At City Hall, Mayor Moscone starting to feel the pressure. I don't enjoy losing friends. I don't have that many of them. But uh, unfortunately for me at least, uh, the responsibility as mayor may necessitate that. And uh, that's what it is. That's the way it'll have to be. Coming up, fire persons, maybe soon. The great Los Hermanos wine controversy rages on at the Art Museum, where Los Hermanos premium wine is on display in half-gallon bottles. You said this was an important showing, and I'm standing here looking at what is just a lot of wine in big jugs. Maurice, those are jugs. Los Hermanos premium Zinfandel, Chenin Blanc, and Riesling in half-gallon bottles for $3.29. A fine buy, yes, but fine art, yes. Museum director Maurice Lafitte. Premium wine. For three twenty nine of fifth, that's nothing new. The importance here is that these are half gallons, and if that's not an artistic breakthrough, what is it? Those are jugs. Do you think wine is art? I have no idea. I'm not from around here. In Rome, the author of How to Wine Friends and Influence People said this: Isn't it a matter of taste? I think this wine should be displayed in the privacy of your own home. And as for taste, well, that's something you do in the privacy of your own mouth. <laughs> Creative people are buying Los Hermanos Premium Wine in a jug for three twenty nine. But is it art? I I have no idea. I'm not from around here. Los Hermanos Vineyard, St. Helena, Napa Valley, California. We may be getting some good-looking firefighters. This is Mike Colgan. 125 applicants showed up at City Hall yesterday to apply for the several hundred firefighting jobs that will soon be opening up. Five women were among those who passed an initial test to become hose jockeys, but they still have a long way to go. They'll have to come back for a written test and face such physical challenges as carrying a ladder 25 feet, dragging a hose upstairs, and swinging an axe as many times as possible in a two-minute period. 20 Nine different Bay Area groups all opposed to the B-1 bomber have pooled their efforts in a campaign to get people to write their congressman. The Defense Department wants to spend about $960 million tax dollars to build three B-1s, but the Bay Area opponents say it'd be a massive waste of taxpayers' money. The district attorney has decided to prosecute those who voted illegally in the city's election last December. We have over 11,000 uh, registrations uh, which show that persons uh, use the San Francisco address uh, whereas their Department of Motor Vehicle uh, information shows that they used an address for that purposes uh, other than San Francisco. Joe Freitas saying the penalty for voter fraud could be five years in the state pokey. Howard Hughes' body lies in a basement morgue in Houston this morning as the hassle begins to take shape over who will inherit his fortune valued at some $2 billion. 
$1,000. KFRC announces the Golden Gate Superwalk. It'll be California's largest March of Dimes walkathon, and you can join us. Just call 44 11 900 now. 610 News Time, 729 Energy. The California Assembly votes to ban new atomic power plants here until methods of disposing and recycling the radioactive wastes have been developed. Freedom. Richard Speck, who killed eight student nurses in Chicago in 1967, will become eligible for parole in September, according to the Illinois Department of Corrections. Movies, actors.